Well, hello guys. Hi. Um, in the previous episode, we started looking at inverse kinematics and uh, as part of our uh, spaceship project, um, in terms of uh, preparing the gear uh, about, uh, about our spaceship. So in this episode, we're going to continue um, immerse uh, just a, a bit more into inverse kinematics. And, and then go on with uh, um, continuing our um, gear landing gear project. Okay, so let's get right to it. Let me change that. Great, thank you guys. So you can see here, there. And so without further delay, let's get right into it. Okay. So, the first thing we would like to um, add to our, uh, to actually, the first thing we begin with in our hierarchy is a null object. Okay, let me, let's say, rename that as parent object. The camera sees it just like that. Um, let me take away the camera. I don't want to be seeing that right now. Great. Here. Okay. So this is our parent of uh, null object. Okay. Null objects are um, actually helper objects that do, do not render. They do not see, they do not uh, get ray traced, but they help us um, do various tasks like uh, you know you can parent the whole uh, uh, scene on the on uh, this null object and then move the whole scene wherever you wish uh, or in our case today in, in today's um episode this uh, acts as a um um a help to for you know to going you know uh, building our hierarchy um great guys now yeah now i think yeah i haven't for forgotten changing the views Th thank you thank you for that mm, anyway so after our parent it's now it's time to load the first object in our geometry so in this small example i'm going to be adding just one um just one a um a, object okay so this it's this sim simple um you know elongated quad and um, as you can see i have the parent then this uh, guy here is going to have our parent null as a parent let me rename that as parent null so that we won't miss that this parent null and then each first child is going to be uh, the gear lower leg one okay great all checks out great after that the child to this object is going to be another null and now i'm going to be naming that as tip okay now i've been parenting that and the tip is child to gear lower leg one okay and what i want to do i want to move that let me move that somewhere here okay so this is the base of our object of our you know rotation and this is the tip of our rotation now um it is important to note to 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 mention here that we're not done with null objects we need one null object more that will be our handle 
okay that will be handling the motion uh, of my of the previous hierarchy okay so let me see add null and that's going to be my handle handle and i would want to you know put it here there okay so let's see what's going on here um there yes i think this this is a nice nice representation here so what is going on here um first of all i have my parent here okay now i'm starting to i will be starting to um reviewing its parameters uh, in the whole hierarchy you know first of all i'm going to ik options here or pressing i and now i have my uh, the inverse kinematics options for this object okay so this so this uh, null object here is going to have a, uh, my tip the, the tip as a goal okay and pressing okay I won't be doing anything to, to that object. I, the only thing I want to do is uh, remove all constraints, especially the rotation constraints, actually. And the movement constraints, I, I don't care much about, but the rotational constraints, I'm taking it away. Okay. And proceeding, the third object, which is a null, which is the our tip, we opening our IK options and we want that to have a goal as a uh, to have the handle as a, its goal okay and now we're turning on full-time inverse kinematics there okay let me see now something happened here oh wait no sorry, sorry here oh. yeah and now Pop, 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 pop. We have some jumping here and there that can be remedied, but you get the point now. Okay, now about these little um, drop offs, we can go back to our parent null and check its constraints. Okay, so right now, the only actually the axis I want to I want it to be rotating is. Uh, heading and pitch so i'm taking away the um the bank angle okay so trying it again i have sorry i have my tip yeah it's more stable and it's moving as as i want okay so moving once more going there there, up, 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 up. There. Let me see if there's any other error here. There. So let's see. So if I move my handle, then, yep, I'm doing. Yep. Okay. So once more, we can, um, let me see now, a, um, yes, yes, we did everything here, uh, a goal object, exactly. So once more, parent null, opening the RIK options, we want that to point to tip, which is our second null object. Okay. Then the first child, lower leg one, our yeah, our, our object, inverse kinematic options, nothing. We we don't care right now. Next, our grandchild, which is called the tip. This is the tip of the of our object. Okay. And this one is pointing to handle. Okay, so the F, uh, because this is the last object in our chain that is pointing to the handle, we um, we activate full time inverse kinematics. Okay, 
And then this guy here just does his job, you know, just moves around. And this hierarchy here is pointing, is always pointing to, to the handle. Okay. Now we can do some interesting stuff. Say I want my object. Uh, by the way, do you have any, any questions uh, so far? Any questions? Okay, then anyone? F1? None here. Anyway, yeah. So, let me go on then. Um, let's say that I want my object, this, um, you know, this uh, leg here to be moving, say, not the whole, you know, 360 de degrees, uh, per var per, per uh, uh, axis, but I want to constrain it. You know, I want it, let's say, to move just ninety degrees in the heading. In in its heading, so then I go back to our my parent null. You know, the first null. I'm going inside the inverse kinematics, and I am applying limits to that. So let's say from uh, zero to ninety de degrees constraints. Okay, this is the heady, he heading limits, minimum and maximum heading. Let's see what that does. So this guy here. Now I have, oh, I have one constraint here, which is, I think, is the, the the zero, and then you have. Let me let me see it from above. Okay, so you have ninety degrees here and then ninety degrees here. You can't move move it up up up. It jumped here and here. Why did it, it it jumped? Perhaps I think yeah they the guys this uh, here is jumping again there anyway the tip perhaps but um but you get the the point i think and now the this the pitch here is unhindered ah yeah 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 that, that that's because i have have an unlimited pitch um movement so if i if i um limit that say minus 90 90 then i limit it even more and i can move it yeah perhaps <laughs> here i guess yes so when I when I go to my minus ninety plus zero the heading and the pitch is minus ninety here we get to another one plus ninety whoops yep here there and now you have zero and up there is one constraint for the for, for the pitch so i can uh, fix that even more and tell it i have minus 90 to 90 then that should be 0 to 180. so that will get the 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 other hemisphere from south to north let's say so let's see if that is the case here up there hold on yep that's one constraint here and the other is up there yep okay so now we have a more now we have described to the um to our to our foot how how it's it's going to behave 
go once more there. So you can have like like uh, turrets, huh. cannon ca cannons, uh, po pointing, you know, here and there, and just you, actually this is quite useful when you have. Uh, let me continue this um, this attempt by adding one more. Let's say I have. The gear lower leg, I want to be having a clone of it. Okay. So the gear lower leg two is going to be a parent to the tip, it is going to be a child to the tip. Okay, here. Okay. So first I'll have to deactivate. No, wait, wait. First, I have. Yeah, yeah. This is correct. There. And now I'm going to be needing a tip here. This is actually a knee. This is going to be a knee. So I'm renaming that. Okay. Renaming that as to knee. Next is going to be lower leg number two. And then I want to add a tip. Okay. A tip. That will be a um, child of my second lower leg here. I want it to be somewhere here. Okay. So let me see if we got to correct. This is child to this to the number one yes this is child to the knee and this is a child to number two okay and we need another one that is going to be the, um, our handle handle that is going to be free here there okay so let's go through our inverse kinematics um uh, parameters okay the first parent we all had already set our constraints constraints here as well let's keep that for now um gear lower leg one we have deactivated all constraint all um movement all uh, ro rotational movement here um now this one here Let's keep, keep that for now. We have our goal now for the knee is going to be the tip. There, I'm deleting that. No, not full time IK for that. And again, the lower, uh, the lower leg no number two doesn't have any rotational um, choices activated. And then the tip here I can actually use it and point it to the handle. And the, since this is the last joint in my hierarchy, this is going to be full-time IK. Okay, let's see what we did so far. Now I'm going to be moving my handle and seeing the, the effect of that. So I have, oops, 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 I have some some you know mishaps but it's moving more or less as we want it well, the only thing we want to do is check the constraints here so i think this um joint here needs to be constrained in some of its um uh, rotations here let's say the the um, the bank rotation perhaps so let, let let's see the handle how it fares now yeah, up, up, some, there's some jumping, <laughs> some jump, jumping around. Hmm? And then we can limit it even further. We go to parent node because we see there is some illegal movement here. Let's take away all this, you know, activate just the, the, the heading and see how that goes. There. 
Mm, heading doesn't want. So let me activate the pitch and deactivate the heading and see what he did so far. So yeah, so you have a something like, you know, uh, a, a, a hand and arm, you know, the, the motion of an arm. So seeing it more three dimensionally here, there. So we have the handle that is, you know, is doing all the, the, the stuff here. So we need this guy here is moving. I think this is a bank angle, so we can fix that as well, perhaps. And we can perhaps move that as well. So handle move. We have this guy here. And so this is mine there. Let's see here. So this is my, this is the, the pitch for every, and I think this, yeah, the pitch is going to be here and some constraints because I see this has moved away from the, from the other's plane. So let's have only the pitch turned on for everything. Heading is off. Heading is off. Okay, let's see how that fares now. So here, oops, something is locked there, I think. There, this one, this one here. So reset. Let me see if there's any constraints. No, nothing. Here, nothing either. Let me see now. Because something now, now this is locked. Just some more. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. yes, I know now. So, let me, see. I'm choosing the, selecting the knee, going here, everything is on, resetting, and then taking away everything else. Let's see if that solved that. And to a more, so this is, it's strange things, you know. There's some the handle, yeah. Strange stuff, strange stuff. So resetting everything now. Reset, reset, aha, uh -huh. reset everything here. So something is wrong there. What is that? Okay, let's troubleshoot now. Um, last one, the chain, full time IK, deleting that. Now, this is the normal resting position I want to have for my for my objects you know see there there so now when I am activating the inverse kinematics there now I get some some action here that is actually that should shouldn't be happening the question is why is this happening and let me see now. Full time IK. Yes. Up. Nothing. 
up tip correct up. nothing and up knee and we, which is also correct so why is this is this happening god damn it Oop, I think I found out why. Okay, let's see now here. And my knee is here. Let me. Yeah, there. So. This is. Uh, the pitch of this uh, guy here. So the pitch should be towards the other side. Yeah. Anyway, strange things. Okay, let me see now. Um, oh, there. Was it doing anything wrong? Perhaps. Anyway, yeah, it seems to be working now. So this is my, this is the brand, the, my arm is only uh, doing the pitch no there mm -hmm. the pitch movement so this is actually uh, the basis of uh, the inverse kinematics i'm still learning it my, my, myself so yeah now Back to our um, to our project uh, regarding the um, regarding the uh, spaceship and its front gear. Okay, so let us see where we were before. Okay, uh, let me see first. I think we had. Uh, we had um these you know yeah the front gear and we were messing with, with, with that as well so what i want to do here is i only want my sorry i only want um the lower portion uh, the the foot to be uh in, you know to to having to be having ik so when it moves the it's it touches the ground it should be doing the, like like that okay so let's see how how we do that um the thing is he, the thing here is that we want to prepare a scene to be able to load it up in our uh, bigger spaceship scene. So um, what I see here is the only uh, movement I want to, to be having as, um, have to, to be having IK on is the, the foot. Okay. So what I do actually, what I do really is that um, the gear foot, its parent will be the ankle. Okay. So 
that is going to be uh, my hold on a minute my inverse kin kinematics uh, basis mm -hmm. and then i'm going to be having the the, the toe um as a guide for my for my the movement of of its foot let me just delete that it is not needed and then i have a handle okay so let me see here what i do there back ankle no this is not needed so first i before i add in the scene before i had the foot in my scene okay i'm adding a um i am adding a uh, null object that is going to be the basis of my foot's rotation okay this uh, yeah after that i am i am adding the, the foot the moving part that i want to be moving and then after that i am adding a uh, a null object that is called toe okay so notice here a um think about think i think about a line here so you have the object in the middle you have your pivot point that is located in your uh, in the parent of the foot and then you draw a line here you know you draw a string here to the toe to the the grandchild of the movement of my of this hierarchy and then of course you have a handle that depending on where it is it's going to be moving your the the the, the foot along the my the its pitch angle okay now you see here there are some constraints you know my my the foot is stopping here and here so what i am doing now what, what i'm going to to, to be doing is that the object itself okay is going to be constrained as well okay and you can see here in its ik options that i have placed minus 10 up to plus 15 degrees as a pitch limit okay so now i have this sorry so now i have this uh, constraint to, to play with Okay, so the animation itself, it's going to be just li li like that. Okay, now to move that in my uh, bigger scene, I don't wish for any animation to be done in reality because I don't know when in during the the frame count my foot is going to be landed so i just want the the hierarchy and the, the, the structure of this um you know of, the, of this ik uh, system as, as if i may say so so what i'm going to do now i have this uh, guy here and let's say i delete i'm, I'm deleting every uh keyframe of that next next yep so this is my my keyframe and i'm also going to be deleting hold on let me see i think this yep this has also a uh, keyframe yep and the parent of the front gear is also having a so i'm cleaning up all my keyframes okay keyframe here no delete great so i have a clean uh, hierarchy to 
to be moving to my, you know, my layer. So let's save that. Oh, I want to delete the ground as well. Layer, clear object. Anything else I wish to... No, I have the light, no. So I'm going to be saving that as a front gear rig default. Def, okay. And I'm going to be creating a scene, load scene. Let's say, do I have a scene here? Perhaps I do. I'll do it like that. So I have a front gear rig. No, I am creating a scene. Let's go back into episode 31. And I have shuttle gear doors animated. Okay. So this is going to be my... Yep. And now I'm going to be clearing that here. 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 Deleting every motion from that uh, scene. There. And now let's move like, the camera in the front gear and say, okay. Here it's this. And there. Perhaps something over here. So let's see. Now I have this. And little guy here, let me save that. Episode 33. Scenes, gear doors, shuttle. Front gear, front gear IK. Okay, front gear IK. So having this saved. Yes, I did that. Yep, I saved that. We go to Object and click Load from Scene. Okay, so we go to Webcast, Episode 33, and Scenes, and we load up uh, our front gear. Was it that? Hold on a minute. Let me see. The, no, I think it was 32. Front gear rig def. Now I get the, the question, load lights from scene as well as objects? No. Now I'm loading it up there. And now I have my hierarchy here. So the front gear parent is present. Let me, oops, sorry. Oops, there should be a um, here, lower gear knee. And the gear knee is the gear knee is parent, it should be parent to gear upper leg. Yes, there. That's... Yep. And now I have front gear parent. An easy way to for you to be able to discern the hierarchies here from because you know it's too too much. It's it you 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 can get lost is rename this parent as you know do something like that so then you will be able to you know the the eye is going to be able to 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 lock on that okay so i'm doing front gear parent here and my hierarchy then i get some there okay so here as well let's see how that whoops i think we are here i guess yes there so now i want to be Let me see, when the cover is going back, 50, 50, let's say 55, I think. Yes, 50, 
55. When this get ba gets back, it is then the time for my uh, for my leg to start going down. Okay, so let's see here what we are going to do here. So from zero to fifty five, we want our foot to be to to stand still. So let me first take it up. First, let me see what, what what what's going on here because I would. Let me put that in zero and see what is going on here. Because I get some motion from that. Why? Why do I get motion here? Gear knee here. Yes. That is the keyframe I haven't. There. Now I have it already there. Let's say here. Okay, so front gear parent from zero to fifty five. This is going to be up there and inside zero to fifty five. And now I'm going to feel the frame, the keyframe fifty five. To frame fifty five, we will have a keyframe, spline options, and linear. Now it's, it's going to be sitting here. Okay, so let's see what is going on. See, I have it. Now the foot is still outside, so I will be. Actually, the, its resting point should be. Hmm, now I start getting ideas. So. 55 let's move it here and rotate that oops what happened does it have any constraints aha uh -huh. it's full-time ik no i don't want a full-time ik so front gear parent what's going on something's going on something's left from <laughs> That's why, yes. Because of the gear knee. Ha, <laughs> welcome with one. So let's see here. What's there? Rotate. Rotate. Strange stuff. Foot handle. Foot handle is this. The foot handle is doing that. What? Mm -hmm. There's some constraints left. Anyway, we delete. We. Uh, let me take that away and now I can there unaffected by IK. Now this is uh, very, um, a button that we ignore the the effect of the children and grandchildren to the parent. Okay, so now I can move it freely. Okay. So this is my... This is my foot here. Okay. There. And then I will be having... there so this is my and let me see if it has cleared the no actually no
there. Let me see now. Gear knee was a gear knee here. Gear foot, ankle also full time IK. Now I have to increase the constraints because I can't. Uh, there, now there. there. I can increase the, the constraints so that I will be able to um, get my there get my um, my foot to fold just quite a bit let's see now foot handle bit more fifty. There. Okay, so this is my zero point zero here. So what do I get here? Mm, let me see, let me make a limited region. So the landing gear is just in frame 55, frame 55, oh, some now things start happening, okay, so we can, where is that, where is it, where is mine, just let me, I want to be able to see there, there, there. So now 55, my front gear is going to be coming towards here and here. This is stable, it's going to be taking, let's say, up to 100. 200. Now the same thing is going to be there and my rotation here is going to be something like that hold on there 200 and the rotation is going to be there let's see there so what have we done there We need a bit of adjustment, some adjustment here, see? So let me first say, let's say going to the front first. There, 75. No, we need some tension there. Let's see. Let's 
What do we get here? Yeah, and we have the landing area. Ah, I think. Fix that there. And now, while the foot is going down, we want to start moving it uh, using inverse kinematics. So let's say here, 90. We're highlighting the handle. So we're going to use the handle to, for um, keyframing. So Let's see what's going on here. So here, 90, and then at 100, the handle is going to go here. Hundred. So what is going going on here? Yes. So now we want it. We take the front gear and it's going quite a bit more. Oops, sorry. There. Let's say 130. Let's do that. Let's linearize that a bit. There. And under say fifty to be here. So Now 150 is going to be I'm doing a motion. I'm seeing how the x-axis is going to be tensed. So I'm, I'm tensing it or you know a smooth breaking, a smooth and ending. You know, so here as well. So. The handle here is a bit ninety. Maybe this is going to be hundred twenty. And deleting that, yes. So let me see. This is eighty five. Then deleting that. Now I'm doing some adjustments in in time, you know, there. I think 85, 87, 90 is going to be. Yep, 95, this is 95. There. Too late. Too late, too late.
Okay, let's see. Let's do some preview. Okay, how it's going to be. <laughs> Stupid. So what we have here is like red already here that should be that should stay here so this is 80 this is frame 85 so let me see here frame 85 90, 100, there, so, yeah, yep, great. And also, we want this uh, lower leg here. We want the lower leg when it's going there to be deployed a bit. Here, and then That's 120, it's going to be here. Just to, you know, increase the, the, the su suspension. Yes. Waiting for the ground to accept it. So shuttle front gear, let's see. Okay, let me save that. And see how it's going to be. Yeah, hold on a minute. There, I have some motion to take care. I think I did that line. Yeah, tension is one. Great. Okay, so let's see how that's going to be. Yeah, some refine, refinement has to be done in the first here. Because it's too it's too 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 fast. So here. <laughs> um when now we can start fifty five. I can um, actually move this frame to frame fifty and delete that and see how how much smoother that, that that's going to be. Yes. Okay. Supply controls tension zero dot zero. Yeah, lo looks um, looks good actually. Um, you know you can, um, uh, you can really. You know, if if you sit there and start timing and say, okay, let's see how that fares, you know, uh, then you can fine tune it and uh, 
I think there is some abrupt mo motion there that should be that that could be mitigated. But uh, yeah, <laughs> sounds fun. So this is um, you know after having made having uh, a a achieved the the motion. You can actually start uh, playing with um, not playing actually. You can start. Uh, you can then start refining the 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 objects that are um, into play here. So, for example, um, let me save everything here. Uh, save scene. Save all objects and start. You can actually start seeing. Okay, maybe the foot is too. Um, is too wide for the op opening so then you can actually hold on a minute then you can you know see how the see i told you it was a bit there for for example okay so you do it the surrender here oops sorry you do it the surrender here and see mm, maybe it's um, maybe the um, the foot is too thick or too thin or whatever. whatever. So first you you know from on, on in, in the next episode we are going to be um, refining and texturing the foot, the uh, the, the, the front la landing gear. As you can see here already from the uh, from from the preview, yes, it, I mean the. Um, the landing gear is too it's too wide so for example you can remedy that you can go to modeler import that and say okay the foot the gear foot this is the, the, the gear foot and um say um, you want these here and you stretch them say here 0 0.9 okay and then you export it back to layout. Okay, and then you do a test render render again and see what is going on there. If you have any, oh great! Now it fits. <laughs> Yep, this is this looks it looks as if it it, it fits. But anyway, it can be even uh, smaller, which we'll we'll be doing in the, in, the, in the next episode. You know, uh, inverse kinematics can be frust fr frustrating if you, if you don't know what you're you're doing. I mean, um, you can actually you know see some abrupt motion and crazy rotations uh, taking place that you you do not want. So the safest course of action is you know you create a hierarchy a very simple hierarchy see if you have the desired motion and then you go on to the next um the next arm the safest thing would be also to remove all con constraints and then start adding them and you know mo moving your handle and see how uh, the object is you know is moving, you know. So Lightweb Five had this um, system, you know, that um, inverse kinematics were at its infancy there, right back back then. So, but we can do stuff with with that, you know. Um. So that's it for today. I will save that for you guys to play with, and uh, saving everything. Um, this assumes you already have the shuttle. I think I will be adding that. Yeah, I will. I will be adding all the 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 objects pres present here. So you won't. Uh, yeah, you do, you don't have to worry about uh, about that. Do you have any questions so far, or yeah, for tonight?
Oh, thank you guys for liking it. No questions, no um, um, any suggestions, any whatever. Um, great. Thank you guys. Um, thank you for, for being here, for watching it. Um, as you can understand, uh, you know, this month that I haven't been broadcasting has taken its toll. So they know I've been, <laughs> I've been out of form. So, you know, it's, it's coming. Um, we, uh, I've been having some technical di difficulties, but, uh, with a new computer now I can do if we, we, we can do even more uh, stuff I can show you and um, perhaps I will be trying to implement in the green screen again so I will, I will be having animations running behind my, my, my back but we'll, we'll see <laughs> anyway um, last but not least shout out to the patrons that are supporting the show um, they are Yarla, Mid1 George Chokanos Volcaro GS Anthony Jarvis and Todd Chamberlain. Thank you very much, guys. If you want to support the 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 webcast, you can go to Patreon at uh, you know patreon.com muadib3d, as you, you can see here. You can subscribe to you to the my YouTube channel so that you get um, the episodes. You know whenever they they get uh, published and if you whenever you have any questions you can drop me an email at muadib 3 d at dot com or in in patreon or wherever you know and i, I will be uh, answering that as soon as po possible okay thank you bye bye take care and stay safe <laughs>